They are paying homage to Catherine the Great, Empress of Russia in the 18th century. Danil Romanenko and his friends live in Sevastopol in Ukraine. And since the country's independence 17 years ago, they have fought for the return of Crimea to Russia. This land is Russian. The land belongs to the people who live there. For the moment, this territory is Ukrainian, but we are Russians. Our mother Russia is like a tree and we are the branches. But a branch, when it is cut off, it withers. They are extremists, a minority. Their justification is that the peninsula in the Black Sea has only belonged to Ukraine for the past 50 years. However, nobody is thinking of a scenario like Georgia. Here, most people want to enjoy the sun. They may have Russia on their mind, but without much hope for change. Under the current regime, it's not possible, but maybe the next elections will give us more hope. If the president changes, the policy can as well. Oleg is part of a Ukrainian minority in Crimea. He is pro-Western, but he's not worried about a Russian military intervention because he says Russians and Ukrainians live in peace in Sebastopol. It's the politicians who inflame tensions. They create problems around the Russian fleet in Sebastopol or when an American ship comes in. But for us, this is not our problem. But if relations between Kiev and Moscow continue to deteriorate, the promenade in Sebastopol could be a less friendly place.